Howdy, y'all. I'm going to show you how to SSH into your Raspberry Pi from your MacBook. So the hardware that I have are a 2019 MacBook Pro with the iTerm 2 terminal. I prefer the iTerm 2 instead of the default Mac terminal. And the theme that I have for my terminal, my iTerm 2 terminal, is Oh My Jish, uh, and Power 10K. The Raspberry Pi that I have now is the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 8 gigs of RAM. And if you can listen very carefully, you can hear the fan running on the Raspberry Pi because I have, uh, I have um, a fan mounted and is powered by the Raspberry Pi's GPIO. So um, logging into or tunneling into the Raspberry Pi from the MacBook is ridiculously simple. Um, so the first thing you need to do is turn on your Raspberry Pi. Okay, turn on your Raspberry Pi and then open the Raspberry Pi terminal and run the command ifconfig okay, on your Raspberry Pi. Press enter and then you will get the IP address for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so write that down or memorize it, um, whatever you want to do. So turn on the Raspberry Pi, open the terminal on the Raspberry Pi and issue the command ifconfig and then get the IP address for the Raspberry Pi. Now on your MacBook Pro, which I'm currently on now, open the terminal, okay? And then we're gonna uh, issue the command SSH, which comes with the terminal in, um, in the Mac, okay? You don't have to install anything. That's one of the beauty of using a Mac for development. And then the, in my case, in my case, the IP address for my Raspberry Pi 4 is 192.168.0.10. And then I'm going to issue a flag, dash L, L as in Lima, okay? The, dash, the, the, the L flag means that I want to SSH into the IP address, into that device, using the following username. In my case, is you know, me, Hugh. Um, now, some people set up their Pi user as Pi or as root. I don't recommend that, but whatever floats your boat. In my case, I, did, I created my own user on my Raspberry Pi, and that's me. Okay, so type in your name here. Not my name, your name. Okay, and I can ask for the password. It's going to ask for the password for your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so type in the password for your Raspberry Pi. And then you get that little warning there, blah, blah, blah. So as you can see now, I'm in my Raspberry Pi. I'm in its terminal. Now keep in mind that whatever shortcut alias that you set up for your Mac would not work on the Raspberry Pi. You have to use whatever alias or shortcut that you set up on your Raspberry Pi. Okay? Just keep that in mind. So I know that in my Raspberry Pi, I have a folder a directory called Workspace. I'm going to CD into that and I'm going to list what's in there. So lo and behold, I have a Rust, a Rust Lang directory in there. So let's CD into there. I also know that I have a Hello Rust uh, app already started in there. Okay. And so let's see what's in there. Okay. I have all the normal Rust uh, application stuff in there, right? Let's go into the source directory, CD source. So I have a main.rs file in there. So I'm gonna since I install Vim on my Raspberry Pi, let's vim that file. And from here you can uh, do your thing. Go ahead and you know write whatever code you want in Rust or whatever language you want. Once you're done with that, close out of there. Let's go ahead and run this on the Raspberry Pi. That hello world app, and you get you know hello Rust. Okay, that's pretty much it. And to get back into um, to, to, into the my Mac 
terminal again, just type command exit. Okay, then you close the SSH tunnel. So the steps, once again, turn on your Raspberry Pi, open the Raspberry Pi terminal and run the ifconfig command, get the IP address for the Raspberry Pi, open the MacBook terminal and issue the SSH and then enter the, um, the Raspberry Pi IP address, the L flag, and then your username for the Raspberry Pi and you're off, enter the password and, and then you're off to the races. Okay, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you are already a subscriber, thank you for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Take care. See you next time.